Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And I know it's been a while since you've seen my beautiful face. I am not jazzed up, but that's okay. And today we have a package from Maniology. I have a code and I have a link. Both will be in the description. Code will probably be somewhere on the screen. But let me show you what's in here. Okay, so we have the Flexi Stamper. Let me tell you. The Flexi Stamper, in case you're not aware, takes your stamps and stretches them or shrinks them. Not a lot, just a little. But as you guys know, I wear longer than average nails, I would say. And so oftentimes, the stamps just don't fit. And so we're gonna see if we can make them fit with the Flexi Stamper. We also have a pack of polishes. Let's look at those. So we have these three colors. I can't remember what the name of this trio was. Doesn't matter. So we've got this green one. This one's a bit of a, like a peachy orange. And then this blue one, they're called Zombie Hunt. What an interesting name, I'm into it. Nectar and blue ribbon. We are definitely gonna be using these in this video. And then we've got some stamping plates. So we're gonna look at these two. So we've got this one. This one is M525. This one is octopuses. If you guys saw, back in the day, I sculpted some octopus nails. There was three nails, and it's kind of all along this vibe, you know, across. Very cool. And so I'm actually super excited to use this plate, but like, look, you see how big these are compared to my nail? It's gonna hang off unless we're able to stretch it. So we're gonna try it. And then we have this one, M522. It's starfish. I love starfish. I also sculpted some starfish nails. I like that this one includes a larger section so that someone with nails like me has a chance of using it. Thank you, Maniology, for including us long-nailed folks. And then we have this one, M508. It's stingrays. Very cool. I think stingrays are kind of like the dragons of the oceans. They're a bit majestic. I pet some little ones at a little zoo type thingy. They're very sweet. They're like water puppies. But I think this is super cute and I'm very excited to use it. And we have M491. This is the SpongeBob plate, but without the copyright. So like we've got pineapples, we've got these eyes, these eyebrows and some noses and some mouths. We've got these little bikini bottom stars, these little jellyfish. Days, hours, years, moments, meanwhile, sometime, a few, next, later. This is SpongeBob. Very cool. And then we've got this alphabet. They're bubble letters. Perfect to go along with the recent many by me subscription box it was bubble themed so bubble letters to go with the bubble nails and then we have this one as well m468 this one is jellyfish i have this plate already i believe this plate came in the previous box with something else but i've actually painted some nails with this plate and you may have seen them on my instagram and stuff there's some photos I really liked it and they came out super cool. I used like neon to make the jellyfish and then of course the background, a bit of a watery color. So I'm gonna put this in my plates that I'm giving away. So if you don't have this one yet, definitely be on the lookout so you can get this one as well as those other ones. All right, so here's the Flexi Stamper. It is this big barrel type thing. And here's how it looks. This is a lid. It comes off. Ooh, my little stamper thing is trying to get away. Push that back in there. There we go. So you can see it's like this bubble up here. It's not flat like a lot of these wider ones. And this bottom part turns and there's a plunger in here that's going to go up or down. And so right now it is all the way down. I don't know how well you can see that, but it looks like you can. It's not touching that. So if you roll it up, can you see that moving? Let me see if I can, yes. So if you roll it up, it moves up and pushes in to that jelly, making it stretch up just a bit. Like, so you can see now on this curvature that it is stretched up and I'm gonna roll it down. 
so that you can see that too. So we're going down and you can see it sinking in. And so if you have it in the rolled down mode and you pick up your stamp when you roll it up, it stretches it. But if you start with it in the stretch mode and pick up your stamp and then roll it down, it'll shrink it. So if you have smaller nails, you can make your stamps a little bit smaller and hopefully they'll fit better. And if you have longer nails, hopefully you can do it as well. And it looks like I could probably get this to go all the way the length of my nail. So we are definitely going to try and stretch some stamps too. We're doing all kinds of stuff today. So that's my little maniology haul. Definitely do check the link in the description so you can go over there and see what kind of goodies you want and use that discount code. Save yourself a little bit of money. I'm going to get some supplies together and we're going to do some nails. Comment below which set you think I should do first. So this is the one that I chose to start with and we're going to paint with this blue. That's going to be our base, our water. So I am not going to put down a sticky base coat because I have peel off base coat on here since I want to use all of these plates. I need these to not last that long. So stamping polish can be used as regular painting polish as well. And so that is really handy because it makes these polishes multi-purpose. And so you get more bang for your buck. If you're going to buy a blue polish, it might as well do both, right? But do remember stamping polish dries super fast. So you want to work relatively quickly. And I am not left-handed. So bear with me as I struggle. I also have shakes in my hands. And so I've had to learn to paint despite that. Um, and I don't know what causes it. I think it's probably due to either um, a medication that I take or the way that I eat. I'm not sure, but I do know that it's my life now, so I have just learned to manage it. Sure wish I'd stop painting on my finger. It's okay if you do, just clean it up. So now we're gonna give this a moment to dry. I might have to put a little bit more on this one. It looks like it got some streaks in it. But the other ones look pretty full coverage, so we don't need a second round for those. So we're gonna take this white polish here, and we're gonna start by picking up this one. I wanna put this one on my finger, but we are going to try and stretch it a little bit because it's just slightly short, as we were talking about previously. So I like to scrape onto a paper towel so it doesn't just get everywhere. All right, and then you wanna roll in the opposite direction. We got it, okay. Let's get these extra bits off of here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this lint roller. Get around these edges. You can do it with tape or you can stick it to your scraper sometimes, but apparently that did not want to work. All right, so I'm gonna scoot this out of the way so that we can look at this together. Can you see it? I think you can. Just don't want it to be too glary. So let's roll it up. There we go, now it's all the way up. And it is just slightly bigger. Now I want to paint in this stingray with some color. So we're gonna put a little bit of paint on this palette here. And I like to use this little brush, it's raggedy, but it works. You get some on there and then you just wanna kind of gently float it or bounce it over your stamp because if you drag it, it's gonna peel up your outline and you're gonna ruin it. So you don't wanna do that. And try really careful to stay in the lines. If you get outside of them, I mean, it's fine, but it's not gonna look as neat. And then once you've got that filled in, you've gotta let it sit for a little while so that it has time to dry. And then we'll use a sticky base coat to actually adhere that. So I'm gonna let that sit. And I did actually go ahead and already paint 
some other ones. So, so I'll be right back. All right, so that has had some time to dry. And then we have this. This is the Maniology Sticky Base Coat. So this works. Once your polish has dried, you can just put a layer on this and then you let it sit till it's like halfway dry. And then it is good and sticky for you to put your stamp on. Otherwise, your stamp doesn't stick. So we're gonna start with this here ring finger because that is where I'm putting that one that we just made. And so we'll get that nice and lubricated. Need a little bit more. The end of it is choppy. Careful not to get too much like I do because I'll get it all over my fingers. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some on this finger as well so that one can get started. You don't wanna do all of your fingers at once because it'll be dry by the time you get to it and then you'll have to do it again and that is a waste so two is plenty and close this because i love to knock bottles over you wave it around a little bit let it get dried up a little and then if you're going to test it i always try and go for like the very edge Ooh, that's sticky i'm gonna try and put this with the this guy up towards the top kind of like this so i wish i could see through it but I cannot. I'm just going to do the best I can. To line this up up here and then roll down. Push hard enough to get it around the sides. Oh no, look what happened. My polish was still too wet and it did a weird thing. Let's clean this thing off. I'm going to see if I can't push this back in place. That's another problem with not being able to see what you're doing. I had to push too hard instead of being able just to roll it. Oh no. That fella's trying to slide off. It's not perfect. It's like really bunched up in this corner up here. I want that to scoot down some. It is so messed up. I am disappointed in that effort. It was cute while it was still on the stamp, but now it's all smushed. Look at that hanging off the edge so I can just drag it off. It's too much. I don't know why I didn't put on a ton of paint, but maybe it was too much base coat. Well, we're gonna have to live with that, unfortunately. I have this one now that we're gonna try and stick over here. Hopefully I don't mess it up as bad. Let me see here. We're gonna try and line this up. Okay, yeah, see that one went much better. Maybe it really just needed a little bit more time to dry. Because that one looks fantastic. You can see the difference. It is significant. That is sad. Before we get to stamping those other ones on, we need to get some more started. Because they're going to have to sit while they marinate. Let me get my white polish so we can do outlines. So I want this one and we're gonna scrape it off and then I am going to stretch it as well all right we've got that picked up let's get this excess and then we'll stretch that out while it's still wet so it doesn't crack all right now we'll let that sit and dry while we get our other one which I want this one over here. And we're gonna get that on this one. It is not gonna be stretched, unfortunately. I almost missed the stamper. So we'll set that to the side while it dries. Look what happened to my cotton ball grabber. I don't know why, but my pineapple came off. So when I try and put it back on, it just springs back off. Make sure you're always cleaning your plates when you're finished. Don't want to leave those dirty. All right, I've got some more paint out, so I'm going to go ahead and color these in. They are very small, so I have to be careful not to use too much paint. Is that a hair? Get out of here, hair. All right, that one's painted. We'll set that to the side to dry. Let's paint this one real quick. Those were really tiny, but let's let that one dry. While those are drying, we're gonna go ahead and get our base coat put on the pinky and the index finger, because that's what those are for. That way that can get started drying, and hopefully we don't have any more 
repeat issues. All right, that's been a few minutes. You can barely even tell that it was wet. Let's start with the pinky. I'm gonna try really hard to get this to fit. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go. And then we're gonna have to patch this with some extra bubbles because there wasn't enough. All right, that has worked out. Tuck these extra bits underneath. Yeah, that one's okay, right? I think so. Clean your stampers with the lint roller. And then we've got this guy to put on the index finger. Another one where, again, we cannot see what we're doing. Maybe I should try and roll it sideways. That might be smarter. Yeah, that came out all right and it ended up being almost enough to cover. My little tip didn't have any bubbles, but I patched that too. This off of here, he's a little bit extra. And then what we'll do, some parts have a little bit of overhang. You just get a cleanup brush and take care of that. We've got one more left and we have some stingrays ready to go. We just need to put some base coat. Now we gotta wait for this to dry. All right, that one's dried enough. Let's get these and we're gonna put them on here one at a time with a little bit of like placement so put that one right there you gotta be careful not to let them touch where you don't want them to because you'll just mess it up and then put this one over there yeah i think that's good and then this guy, let's flip this around. I want to put this one here. And then we have one more. See how we can tuck him in. He's gonna have to go this way, I think. Yeah, off the edge a little bit, apparently. That's okay. All right, yeah, that looks pretty cute. What do you think? It's like they're swarming. I like that one. So, um, I was really not happy with how this one came out, so I'm just gonna do it again. It is a little bit lumpy now, <laughs> cause that's all under there, but hopefully we can at least get the print to look good so that it's not just atrocious. That's still a little bit sticky, so we might can just use that. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna do it this way this time and hope we get a better result. Yes, that is much better. I wish it had gone that way the first time. So maybe roll this thing across. <laughs> Don't push super hard because it just slides it everywhere. Yeah, those are looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I'll clean all that up in a minute, but what we need to do is use this. This is smudge free top coat. You wanna put this on to protect your nail art because regular top coat will melt it. And these bottles, this lid, I have covered it in top coat because it flakes, it just like, I was getting black stuff all over my hands and my polish and I'm like, what is this? And it's the lid peeling, I guess. It's weird. Yeah, seal that in. Yeah, you'll just put this on here. Now this is not a final top coat. It will not work as a final top coat. It is not quick dry. It is not long lasting, but it will protect your work long enough for you to get a quick dry top coat on it. But you do want to let this dry down some so that when you try and go over it with a quick dry top coat, it doesn't just roll it up, make it gross. There we go. So that's gonna need a few minutes to dry. So I'm gonna have to pause this and come back once it is dry enough so we can put the quick dry top coat. And then of course I will be getting some photos to show you as well. You're really gonna see how lumpy this one is once we get all up close and personal with it, but I'll be back in a moment. All right, so for our final top coat, we're gonna go in with the Orly Polish Shield. This one is quick drying and chip resistant. It is one of my favorites. 
Okay, now we will give this a few minutes to dry and then when it is solid, we'll come back and have a look. So let's have a look. Look how shiny they are. I like that, that's super nice. And I like this color combination together and I think it's a good idea to use the white for the outline instead of a black. That way the white seems more like bubbles in the water. I thought that came together really well. I am gonna go ahead and get you some photos. I will insert those here. And definitely make sure you're checking the description for my link and go ahead and grab that discount code so you can use that when you put in your order. Definitely go see what they've got. They've got plates of all kinds, tools of all kinds. There's even merch. And Maniology is top of the nail stamping game. If you can't hand paint, this is a good option to have some really cool nails. And there are even some plates for longer nail lengths. Not as many as for short ones, but there are some. So definitely do check that out. Thank you so much for watching my video, especially if you made it to the end. Definitely do make sure you're subscribed so you're not missing my content. And make sure you're following my socials so you're not missing the things that I post over there. Sometimes they just don't make it over here. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.